Special Effects is basically making the impossible possible, and Special Effects Unlimited is the best at doing that. They're the oldest warehouse in the world, and they invited me to take a tour of their warehouse, learn all about Special Effects, and maybe demonstrate a couple while we're there. I may be getting covered in slime by the end of this video. Stay tuned, and let's go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, here we are at Special Effects Unlimited. We're gonna learn all about Special Effects today, what it is, and Mike's gonna tell us, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Special Effects Unlimited, we're mechanical special effects. Right. So there's computer graphic special effects, there's makeup special effects, we're mechanical special effects. Right, mechanical gotcha. special effects is what happens in front of camera, like it's actually happening. Practical so stuff. I wander inside yeah, and see what sort of toys we have. This is our warehouse of dreams. This is more or less Smoke Machine Central. This machine <laughs> is like the modern day ground fogger. If you watch movies like 50s, 60s and stuff like that, they'd use low fog in cemetery scenes and they'd use smoke, right. you know, in like Sherlock Holmes mysteries and stuff like that. Right. But it wasn't in every music video, really. It wasn't like in every movie. Nowadays, now it feels like, yeah. there's always some sort of atmosphere. Right. Yeah. Want me to lay down? <laughs> You still in there, Ethan? I can't even see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can really get lost in here. This is where you like come out of the scene and you're like, I saved the dog or something. <laughs> yeah. We were talking a little bit before about practical stuff versus mm -hmm. computer stuff. Where did that start when you first entered and like how, how's it going? I was fortunate enough to come in like right at pretty much when CG really started taking off. Mm -hmm. For a while there, it was a little scary. Like it was starting to be like, I think computers are gonna take over everything. Lord of the Rings, I think really was the movie that came up that uh, Peter Jackson wanted to use as much physical effects as possible. And that really started kind of swinging the pendulum back. And I know that like Lucasfilm and all them, they're creating these new stages that are completely digital stages. Even on those green screen stages and stuff now, they're having me. us come right. in and do special things like even just fire or whatever. There's always gonna be a place for mechanical effects. I think most directors and producers are gonna want us to be there to help them create the magic as much as possible in camera. And then the CG guys come and make our stuff look even better. These are turntables. They're actually very popular. Turntables are used for all sorts of things. Strangely enough, usually for turning things. This is a hydraulic lift. That's a hydraulic lift. That is the best of both worlds up there. A turntable. It's a turntable and a on a hydraulic lift. <laughs> this is our wall of hazers. The DP seems sad on set. You just roll a DF-50 towards them. <laughs> Almost every shoot has a hazer on it. And we got the bubble blaster. We have the bubble master. We have the bubble king. This machine is oftentimes when there's suds in the bathtub. And that way the actor isn't actually sitting in water. Oh. Um, so we just put ribbons of bubbles in with them. It's just um, a bunch of bubbles. Usually, <laughs> yeah, it's just easier. Just sitting in a bathtub that's full of bubbles. A lot of the snow we do is just bubbles too. Oh, but really? It's, it's, it's emitted in a different way. Ah. So it's not just what it is, but what you're doing with it. We use these for falling snow. The fluid comes out the front and it just sends out little tiny bubbles and it looks like snowflakes. Ah. A lot of TV shows, if you watch the shoulders and the hair of the actors, uh -huh. you'll see the little bubbles landing on them. And that's the really? giveaway that it's a bubble machine. Oh, no way. Instead, and that's, so now I just ruined all those shows for you. <laughs> the reality's over. Fire's fun. <laughs> just be careful, kids. Oh. And so this is one of the benefits where I can control the level. Oh, there you, go. you know, like if you wanted to be moving right, your hands right, over right. it. Right. Turn on this now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It is bubbles. <laughs> I'm in the shower. There you go. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that soapy. I mean, I know you told me a million times, but. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Oh. <laughs> Don't inhale the snow. <laughs> How did you get into special effects? You don't necessarily have any creative control when you're starting out, but the one crew that they definitely impacted everything that happened, even the lowliest technician on a sound stage as a special effects guy, right. you're usually doing something that's interacting with talent mm. or interacting with camera. So even as like the lowest guy on the totem pole, you probably are gonna at some point be involved in the creative <coughs> process directly. And I called all the different shops and I actually called Special Effects Unlimited where we are. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they were like, when can you start? And I was like, how does tomorrow sound? Hollywood was still really hopping with mechanical effects. So I really got to be around big gags and see all the rigging and learn <laughs> yeah, from yeah. like the guy who blew up the Death Star, Joe Viscosal, yeah. he was one of my friends, you know. There's a point where you're in special effects and you're working in the shop, learning everything. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I know everything. And you know you don't know everything, but you feel like you know <laughs> enough to go out there. Right. And you go out there on your own and you start doing jobs. And the next thing you know, you know, 
some job comes along and you just totally eat it. And then you realize you have even more to learn. And it takes, like I said, it could take 10 years to really be a good effects guy. Right. And even then you don't know everything. I mean, you're never gonna know everything. There's so much to know. These are big water heaters just like you have in your house. When they're underwater for a length of time, like if you get in the bathtub and you sit in yeah. there for like eight hours, right. you're gonna be cold. cold. I don't care, you know, if, unless yeah. it's above 98 degrees, right. you're gonna get cold. Yeah. So sometimes we have to heat water because yeah, they're doing totally. a scene all day long. Raw materials for making all of our various fluids. Here's a whole pallet full of breakaway glass. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> So breakaway glass is interesting. People call it candy glass all the time. Sugar glass, yeah. We have people we call who are like, yeah, can you chew on breakaway glass? Uh, it's like, I want to recommend it. The ever necessary ping pong table, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you never know when you need a ping pong match in the middle of your day. These are some of the larger yeah, wind machines. Jesus. This yeah. Is a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of fans. We call them wind machines at this level. Oh, ah, okay. So now you're in wind machine this territory. This isn't a fan anymore. So this would be, you know, you're imitating a hurricane or something like that. <laughs> What kind of shoots do you usually see come in? Like what percentage is indie versus union versus, you know, or uh, commercial oh. music video? What, what do you usually see? Music videos, we do a lot of music videos. Yeah. I can't even imagine how many. I've done hundreds of music videos. There are a few larger features shooting around here, but not as many as when I first started. Mm. Um, I think tax breaks, things like that. So that's you something know, that's changed for Yeah, them. a lot of television is still shot here. And they'll come to you? Or do they yeah, come to oh you? yeah. Almost everyone comes to, through our shop at some point or another. Like every show at one point or another is gonna end up needing something from us. Mm -hmm. um, just because there aren't that many effects houses and we're also you know, known worldwide, so right, that helps. Right. Some of the shows are so big that it takes multiple effects shops to support them. That's one of the cool things also about special effects is it's a very competitive industry, like, discipline within the industry but we all pretty much know each other because there aren't that many of us right, right. and for the most part any one of us will know the other ones at least by name even though it's you know competitive it's like we all want each other to succeed and we want everyone to be safe this is all air stuff these two shells so an air mortar gets used all the time I basically fill it with air and then the big valve at the end releases the air in one big burst newman yes. got slimed by yeah. the dinosaur it was really an air mortar like this shooting slime out. <laughs> You may have some sympathy for him by the end of the day, <laughs> from what I understand. I think that you should get slimed with a bigger oh, apparatus. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking of you here. <laughs> Believe that this one has your name on okay. it. Okay. So <laughs> it does seem big. We launch all sorts of stuff. I've done, you know, <laughs> blowing debris at people, simulating explosions with it. You'd also use it a lot of times for confetti and things like that. Pretty much what we'll do is we'll load it up with the whatever's being shot out of it, which in this case would be slime. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, pressurize it up. <laughs> and when we hit this wonderful button, I don't know if you want to press the button, you can self inflict Can I press the button myself? Yeah. You can press the button on I'm yourself. I'm totally happy to do that. Okay. So the trick with an air mortar is it's not pyrotechnic. It's not like tap and it's done. Uh -huh. You're going to want to press and hold the button gotcha. until it's empty. You'll right. know it in a second. Okay. But I thought you might want well, to become it. acquainted with the slime. <laughs> yeah. Before you get acquainted with it at a high rate of speed. Okay. Yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> it's not quite the Nickelodeon slime. They're very, very careful about their slime usage. Yeah. Nickelodeon does not mess around with their slime. Yeah. Achoo! Oh, I'm sorry. How often do you uh, need slime in your life? We actually make slime quite a bit. Really? It gets used for all sorts of things. Just like um, special... Slime for creatures. We've done it for blood. Instead of blood, just using slime to make mass quantities of blood. Now I have it all over my hand. Yeah, it really gets, it's just, it's, <laughs> it really it gets, gets all everywhere. Over yeah. you. Um, let me rinse my hands yeah, off just yeah, so I don't too. get slime all too. over yeah, the gear. I'll do that. Um, with be you. right back. Wait, I, I'm, I'm right behind. Here we go. We're going to shoot me with 80 PSI worth of pressure of slime. Uh, where are we shooting it? Like on me? You have an idea? No, no, we're shooting it past you. Oh, None okay. of it will touch you. Oh, okay, great. I great. swear. Okay, cool. Going hot, thumbs off buttons. Three, two, one. <laughs> it looks, it's a good look for you. Yeah. Did you like that? Here, close your mouth for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That gets all up in your mouth. <laughs>
for you. This is good uh, hair gel. Yeah, you won't need <laughs> hair gel for at least a week. Shall we just turn on the rain then so you can kind of uh, yeah, let's, let's <laughs> rinse off a little bit? We can give you a little bit of a shower. I can offer you some rain. I don't think there's any cleaning this off. <laughs> I feel a little bad. No, it's cool. I On, only a little. <laughs> There's always some gag that happens that you're not really sure how to approach it and you have to call the person that you learned from that happens to still be available. Right. It's just handing on to the next generation of effects techs. And yeah, I was gonna ask, what, what do you think, uh, you know, what do you think's gonna be different when they're in your shoes? But it's always been such a tactile us right there running around with the smoke machines and things like that and there's just that kind of streak in special effects that if it works don't change it i don't know that it's going to be that different in 20 years in terms of how we interact with our equipment and how the equipment is interacting with the set and the actors and all that sort of stuff it's a yeah. really hard question to answer you got one more thing you want to show us yeah i figured you could go out and yeah, <laughs> with a bang some fun. yeah <laughs> uh, all right mike thanks for showing me special effects unlimited you can just touch it. Alright, let's leave. Let's let's also leave. <laughs> Off to the sunset. Off into the sunset. They can still hear us. You wanna get some tacos? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out Special Effects Unlimited as much as I did. I think I still have slime in my ear to this day, honestly. But you know that second time I got shot with the cannon, like that was planned, right? But the second time I got hit, like, I totally forgot that was going to happen. So that second time was like a legitimate reaction. Anyway, if you guys want to check out Special Effects Unlimited for your shoot, I'll leave a link in the description. And while you're down there, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.